Hi, I'm Josh here. Just want to give you a very first toolbox review tour, I guess you'd say. Uh, I got the 56 inch US General with a double side cabinet on each side. Over here on the side, I've got a little screwdriver holder with some, uh, right now there's some uh, old de-icer in it because it's like four degrees outside. Of course, I use my tire gauge every day and I'm out of paper towels right now. I keep my magnetic trays up here. Snap on light, can't beat it. Last all day, day and a half. Pick this thing up here. It's like uh, 12, 1400 uh, LED watts, whatever you call that, lumens, and works great. Well, we'll start here, over here on the left side. Just some odds and ends stuff. Uh, I got a pulsator for my back. I got a bad back, some rubber bands, and I always throw my keys in my hat in here every morning. It's kind of a drunk drawer. We'll go on down here. This is one of my electrical test drawer, test probes, uh, strippers, solder, a couple different multimeters, Craftsman and a generic one here, but I love this thing. It works great. It does about everything I needed to do. You name it, it's in there for electrical. Go on down. This is another junk drawer. Got some zip ties. Odds and ends, nuts, bolts, sockets. If I ever have to cut or bead or anything, I got some odds and ends, cobalt and silver eagle sockets back there. Just an extra pair of safety glasses. We'll go on down here to the third drawer. My hammers. I love a short three pound sledge. I can beat the shit out of anything with this thing. I've had this blue point here for probably 20 years and it's chipped a little on the wood, but I beat the living hell out of it every day. This Wilton just got it not long ago. I can't get the grip feel right on it, but man, I tell you what, it's got a hell of a feel. On down here, some air tools. I don't really use the air ratchets much anymore. Bought me a new blue point a couple weeks ago. It's just the uh, AT 2050 model. I don't know if you can see that. Thing's badass and a cheap ass cobalt. Works great for what I need it to so far. I need to get me a new one. Come on down. I got test leads, power probes, uh, just odds and ends, electrical stuff, temp gun. Just bought this Matco. We have an Alltel up front. Sorry about the camera view. This is the MD100, it's not crazy expensive. I think they're around 450, 500 bucks. Does what I needed to do back down here in the back. I can read quick codes, I can erase codes. It shows me a little bit of freeze frame. Like that is, you know, uh, graphs, whatever, nothing major. Main thing is, I fixed the problem. I'm able to throw this on, clear the codes out, get the vehicle out the door and get some money made. Down here at the bottom, I just got my angle grinder with a ton of discs. Those forties are pretty bad. Never had a problem with any of them forty discs. All right, we'll move up here to the money drawer. This is where I get most of my money from. Lots of different quarter inch drive ratchets, quarter inch drive extensions, locking extensions, S and K, snap on, Matco, you name it. I'm not a main tool guy. I use anything. Uh, Oxygen sensor wrench. I believe that's a Matco. You uh, got this cheap ass Harbor Freight that pivots. The head does. This works absolutely wonderful for the top bolts on a transfer case. I don't hardly use any of them ratchets very much. I use mostly this gear wrench here, Flex. These are the uh, 120 XPs. Love these things. Beat the shit out of them every day great of course i got the gear wrench snap-on has these i forget exactly what they're called but basically you pull it out it wobbles push it in all the way it's a straight extension i didn't see them off off first so i just ended up buying these gear wrench i think they were 35 bucks on amazon badass haven't broke one yet can't bitch at all i don't know why i really bought these except for it got me out of a pickle one time about a month back it's the uh, snap-on thin ratchet. Worked great on some torque converter bolts. I use the hell out of the sockets now. But other than that, that ratchet will probably never be used again. 
Matco wobble quarter inch drives. I got my long snap on flex. This works great for torque converter bolts. Sometimes them things are just a pickle to get to. And of course my big long 3-8 snap on. Absolutely love this ratchet. Probably my most favorite tool, tool in the whole thing. It's the FFL F80. Badass ratchet. Like I said, I'm not tool specific, so I got the Sun X quarter inch drive magnetic set. If you don't have those, or you don't have any magnetic sockets, get some. They save you a million, so much time. Oh my God, they save you time, 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 time. Got my nitro. I got a little problem with my heart right now. I just bought these. These are the Tecton 3H drive metrics. Carlisle stubby metrics and some Aries medium sockets. I like medium sockets for some reason. I probably use them more than anything. Uh, going over here, I got just more metric, 12 point, six point, quarter inch drive standards. I uh, use the hell out of these. These are the uh, Snap-on. I don't know if they're like rebranded or what, but I got them off the truck. Tap sockets, love them. Love them, love them, love them. Had this thing, don't even know who makes it, but it's a long magnetic spark plug socket. I use it like every time. Probably I do a tune-up. Wobble standards, don't ever use them. Milwaukee, quarter inch drive. This is the M12. I've got the M12 fuel 3 8 on the way. Be here Monday, can't wait. This is not the fuel. It's not bad for small stuff, but I've tested out the, the fuel 3 8 and they're badass. Right here, without this thing, I probably wouldn't be nothing. This Milwaukee Fuel M12, this little bastard will take off lug nuts uh, if it's got a good charge battery and they're not super tight. I use this probably more than any tool next to my Snap-on 3H ratchet, period. Love this thing. This thing is badass. I uh, got another guy here that's got the Matco and another guy that's got the Snap-on. And with the weight and the size of this thing, it walks all over them. They are actually pretty pissed off they bought what they did, considering I think I bought this with two batteries for like 169 bucks on Amazon. Slide on over here. This is all my half inch drive. Of course, like I said, I'm not tool savvy as far as I don't really care what I buy as long as it works. I try to buy lifetime warranty, mostly Carlisle. Um, and I got some Astro pneumatic sockets in there as well. Come on over, and here's the Torx. I've got Torx, uh, metric and standard Allens. Of course, the uh, Matco ADV or whatever, Advantage Longs. These performance tools haven't done me too bad, and all I gotta do is call O'Reilly and tell them they're called Power Torx. I got the stubbies in all of them. The uh, inverted Torx, standard Torx, metric and standard Allens. I call them and say, hey, I broke one. 10 minutes later, they're showing up at the shop here with a new one. Odds and ends, standard wrenches. I don't hardly use standard much at all anymore. Again, more standard ratchet wrenches than that. I did just buy these because I've been, seem like I've been doing a lot of power steering and, and uh, brake jobs. And those will definitely save you some time way better than having to try to finagle a brake line wrench in there. And my brake drawer, of course cutters, benders. I got a better flare tool over on the bench where I make my own stuff. Go on down. I got about every freaking Mayhew or Mayer or however you say it, punch and chisel made. And some files and just some wire brushes. Just picked this up. I need to get the bigger batteries. My wife and kids got this for me with the impact driver and the drill for Christmas. This impact is a bad son of a bitch. I love it. It's the 20 volt max XR. I kind of wish I had the hog green instead of the nut, but whatever, it works. Love it. Of course, again, M12. I got the drill, right angle. This is, I had, I had to do some uh, wallered out bolts on a minivan. 
head bolts and it saved me a lot of time. Sorry about moving all over. This is just mostly different pullers, things of that nature. Move on over to the middle box here. Odds and ends are just bullshit, extra air fittings, markers, different taps that I use that's not in my master set, blue point lighted mirror, Matco lighted mirror, magnetic pickup tools. I picked up this Craftsman rechargeable. I like my Streamlight, it's better, but it don't have rechargeable, by, uh, rechargeable USB. The Craftsman's lasted me a week now and I haven't run out yet. Not much in here. I do have the Torch 300, my Snap-on, badass for melting electrical terminals, things like that. And of course the Lyle, uh, I call them ears or whatever, but uh, it's a stethoscope. Different colored Sharpies, my little girl plays with those when she comes, draws me some pictures, and it works great for wires and things. Here I got the uh, Astro Nomadic Master uh, line removal tool, um, Astro Nomadic, I believe, compression tester, Carlisle Master bit sets, awesome. This is the Matco Master Tap and Die set. That little fucker right there cost you some money, but it's worth every penny when you need it. Go on down here gear wrench, standard and metric, of course my snap-on flank drive plus wrenches, gear wrench is metric, and these Carlisles, I don't know exactly what you call the, uh, you can see it, it's kind of rounded, these ratchet wrenches in my opinion are the best ones I've used, and I've used a little bit of everything. Moving down to my screwdriver drawer, I've got the Carlisle screwdrivers, this is my cobalt set, I had it in a nice foam tray, lost one, kept pissing me off that it was missing a uh, screwdriver, so I just took them out. I use them every day for the last four or five years. They're about ass, love them. Can't seem to spend 200 bucks on some good ones, 300, whatever they are, when those do me just fine. And of course the gear wrench pick, radiator hose. And I picked this set up right here for like 18 bucks. I think it was. This has literally got about every freaking fastener or whatever you need for 18 bucks you can't beat it. My plier drawer. But the top's all blue point. I got some odds and ends shit. Carlisle, I don't know. Uh, Master Force, I think, or Master, yeah, Master Force from Menards. Matco line clamps. Some vice grips, mini pliers, got some new Tecton. Starting to really love the Tecton stuff for the money. You can't beat it. Oil pliers, oil filter pliers. Uh, just a little bit of everything. Of course, the gear wrench, branded uh, pin pliers. Love them. They work great. Move on down. This is kind of a junk drawer right now. I gotta get, I'm gonna get me a new top, I think. But uh, it's just got some pipe wrenches, a little bit of half inch drive stuff. Some odds and ends bullshit. SK Impact, I've had this thing for 15 years and it's never failed me. And down here at the bottom, I just got a little bit of everything. Uh, I bought this a couple weeks ago. This is the uh, Snap On. BK3000GR uh, video inspection scope. I'm going to do a review on it. So far, this thing is freaking killer. Love it. Pictures just absolutely flawless. Um, can't say anything bad about it. Of course, I got me some more DeWalt uh, bets back in here. A few odds and ends tools. Tire rod tool, just got it, used it a few times, got me out of a pretty good pickle the other day. Uh, let's see what's up in here. The Irwin spline set for getting uh, twisted out. Bolts, drill them, put that in there, beat it in. This 
shit here, which I absolutely hate working on fucking foreign cars, but it's the 10 point or square drive, whatever you call that. Gear wrench, magnetic spark plug socket set. This thing's like stupid money on the Matco truck. It's the same shit, I'm sure. Just rebranded. Works phenomenal. Love it. And of course, the gear wrench cert belt tool. Can't beat it. Other than that, as far as it goes, they gotta figure out how to get all this shit back in here. I'll do that later. But that's my first toolbox tour. I plan on getting a top for it. I'm actually getting a custom top cut for it. The guy's making me to make the whole top of the box solid. And I think I'm looking for a hutch. If not, I'm just gonna throw one of their 56 inch tops on for now. Get me through another year or so. And I really want one of them new Montezuma 84, 86 inch toolboxes with a hutch. Been watching a lot of reviews and things are fucking awesome. Can't seem to spend 30 grand on one from Snap-on when you can get one for seven grand that looks to be just as well built. Not knocking Snap on, they make quality products, but this US General here, it's like 56, and then the side boxes are 14 and a half, so that's 29. You do the math, it's like 85, 86 inches of toolbox right here. Uh, I think they're like right at 22 deep. I've got 1100 bucks in this whole set, can't beat it. Uh, Nothing wrong with it. I've been using it a year now, and I like it. I mean, it's a great, great, great toolbox. I just want something bigger so I can be a little more organized. Anyway, this is Josh. Appreciate you viewing my first video. Any questions, comments, complaints, just leave them down below. And uh, got anything you think I should definitely have in my toolbox as a mechanic every day, let me know. I will tell you, I did just finally buy the bullet. I got them on order. I get them Tuesday. I finally bought some uh, swivel impact sockets. My God, are they proud of those things? I was really hoping Astro would come out with some faster. So I ended up ordering some from Gray Pneumatic, and I also ordered some of the Advantage from Matco on the deeper ones. Anyway, like I said, my name's Josh. You guys have a good day. Leave the comments below. Thanks. Bye.